today. So welcome to the Stay At Home Out Of Kit um, series by me uh, for Seventa Makeup Academy and Treasure House of Makeup um, using my exclusive Stay At Home Treasure House of Makeup kit which was designed for this particular series. We follow on from um, last week's burns demo. We're going to do the same it's a similar type of burn, but this week we will move uh, into uh, the realms of Sculptural. <clears throat> now, we love a bit of Sculptural. Sculptural by Malt Life, A, B, C. Comes in three little tubs. Addition Cure Silicon. So that's Addition Cure Silicon, which means it needs one to activate the other. In this case, we do 50-50. We C, which is the green one, makes it more runny and you have more working time. I don't particularly want this in this scenario. So we're just going to just do A and B and go for it. We're going for a second degree burn, a uh, light second degree burn. So it's going to be a few blisters, a few pustules um, into the dermis, which is the middle layer of the skin. But we're not going too intense at the moment. So it's basically what we did last week, but with a different medium. So... Um, as I don't have my palette knives with me, I'm having to improvise with some butter knives, but that's fine. The palette knives in the studio. So uh, there we go. So we do 50-50 and use different... When you've put your product, make sure you know which utensil you've used for which because what you don't want to do is contaminate them okay because they will go off and you will have ruined the product so you kind of play by eye a little bit you could weigh it okay so now we just start mixing it give it a good mix let's put our lids back on <coughs> So yes, yeah, so um, this lovely product, um, Treasure House, is a fabulous company. They can, they, they are the create. Well, the they are Meron UK, but they also trade with Ben Nye exclusively. Meron UK and Ben Nye and other products, so they can put into anything you want. Mold Live, Mr. Dashbow, etc., etc. Um, but they are the uh, the home of Meron, uh, of the fabulous. Celebrate Pro Foundations, but also the fabulous Paradise Body Paints. Now, next week, I'm hopefully going to be talking to a couple of the Glow Up consult and uh, Glow Up makeup artists about um, Meron and how they found working with Paradise. So, um, I'm not going to tell you who I'm talking to because it's all very exciting, uh, but you'll know soon. Right. So, so my product is mixed. Okay. We don't do any under colouring because we're going to do over colouring. You really have to make sure this product is really mixed well, okay. So. I'm going to use a different utensil to do my application. Um, yeah. In this case, as I said, I'm using another butter knife. Normally I would use my lovely spatulas, but they are all in the studio. So we will improvise. Right, there's my mirror. There we go. So today, um, as I said, set, second degree burn. Let's work on this area of the skin. And we essentially to apply a lovely layer hello hello we're going to apply a lovely layer which we're going to then start working down and the thing about this is your edges You really want those edges 
to be as clean as possible. Because that's what people are going to be looking at. Okay, that's what really people are going to be focusing on, it's your edge work. So it's very important when you do this, those edges are really clean. So notice I now start going all around, making sure all these edges are where I want them to be. So, as you can see, I've left, the, I've left the bigger section there, and then I've got my, my pinky area there. So the inner, inner area is going to be, this area down here, is going to be where I've got, when I've gone down one layer into the dermis, the up area is my sort of epidermis. Mr. Theodore Salisbury, creator and owner of Exilient FX. Hello, Theo. Uh, we're doing a bit of a second degree burn using Sculpt Gel today. Now, for those of you on the call, um, Theo created Exilium Effects and we have a pro scheme, um, which is designed as a trainership, training scheme for young artists. So if you're interested in that, um, have a look at the website. Um, also, if you do any of my courses at Exilium Effects, uh, sorry, any of my courses at Seventa Makeup Academy using our lovely treasure house of makeup kits, that we use, um, you will automatically get added uh, to have one day work experience with Exilion, um, and then we take it from there. If if you know if you have the skills and you feel uh, that you want to join the pro scheme, then you can apply to it. So there we go. There's the main, my lovely treasure house. Oh, bit of sculpture today. Now this week, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we at Treasure House decided we were going to play and show you the same effect, but also using gelatin, gel effects. Now gelatin, um, excellenteffects.com, there we are. Um, gel effects are, it's uh, essentially gelatin. So when you do prosthetic 3D creation, um, out of kit, and you're not using pieces, you can make, uh, you can do latex, gelatin, silicone. That's sort of the order of price. G latex being the cheaper one. Gelatin medium price, silicone more expensive. Likewise, when you cast pieces, when you out of a mold, you can do latex, gelatin, silicon. Not really latex very often, but you can. So here we are. That is my sort of cheekburn. So imagine someone's thrown, you know, someone could have thrown a, a, a sort of burning substance to my face or, you know, um, Acid burn, you know, acid attacks in clubs, something we've seen unfortunately quite a lot in the pre recent years. It's very sad that we've seen it, but there you go. So um, acid attacks are sort of predominant. So this is going to be a type of that. Um, what I'm now doing is I'm now letting it cure. So I'm now going to kind of work my edges a bit more. At this point, I'm trying to take away any product I don't want. There we go. We'll let that dry and then we'll go. So the ins and outs of working with Sculpt Gel. Um, it's a great product and I love working with Sculpt Gel. And the one thing I'll say is if you do cross contaminate, you will have ruined, ruined the pot. So you've got to be very careful with that. Also, um, the warmer it is, the quicker it goes. So you've got to be aware of that. If you're in a cold environment, if it's, it's going to take a bit longer. What I might do is I might get a hairdryer very quickly. I can find my hair dryer. Where's my hair dryer gone? There we go. Because um, then we'll have a lot, it'll be a much quicker, and then we can focus on the painting. 
Now today for painting, I'll tell you all about what we're going to use in a second, bear with me. So Sculptural, Sculptural dries as it goes warm air. You see the shape I've created. Not quite, but getting there. Now at this point, when it's nearly cured, you can start picking bits out of it if you want it. So we could... Start lifting it. You see? There we go. So this point, you gotta you gotta pick that point which is just about to start curing, do some work on it and then lift it. Remember, once it's cured, you cannot smooth your edges. So at that point, bit of alcohol, bit of a wipe, quickly go around your edge. I always do this just to make sure my edge is as neat as possible. And then we are. It's nearly there, it's nearly there. Hello Juan. So Sculptural, um, you've got about between a five and ten minute working time. Um, if you put the green one, C, you're going to get a bit longer, between five and ten minutes. So that's quite a long enough time to sculpt something directly on the skin. Um, a lot of the time, sometimes you'll be, you'll be called to do this uh, live in a, in, a, in a scenario that you might not expect. And you just got to think on your feet. Um, so we also joined by Juan. Juan um, Lopez Alvarez, amazing, amazing um, makeup artist. Uh, used to be national trainer for Charlotte Tilbury. Has a lot of brands under his um, belt, such as Laura Mercier, um, Tennis Image Professional UK, etc. etc. So, fantastic artist has just joined. My god, Paul Bloomfield, an old friend of mine, has joined the call. Hello, Paul. Hello, hello. Ha Paul has just relocated countries uh, and is having a lovely time, I hope, um, abroad. Right. Thank you, Juan. Likewise. Right, that's well, that's cured enough for my purposes. Now we're going to give it a nice, lovely drying. And we're going to get a nice, lovely powder number. Got my little bits here to just. Okay. Let's give it a, a lovely powder. In this case, I am using Ben Nye Neutral Set. And I'm using my Dallium 193. Okay, so there's the burn itself, okay? Okay. 
and it should feel lovely and soft to the touch. Right, okay. So next we move on to colouring. Today we're going to go with our um, um yes let's do Meron FX Bruce palette alcohol activated which means you need um, an activator IPA isopropyl alcohol and first we're going to start with a lovely yellow You don't want a lot. Don't over the colouring. Hello here and lovely to see you at the call. Remember what I said last week about colouring. Don't overdo the colour. Now whenever I do, um, I'm very blessed that I come from a medical background and I have a, bio I have a biology degree before I did anything else. And whenever I do any effects, my mother um, and my father, because he was a surgeon, but my mother now, who's still alive, gives it a good judging. Which is not maybe what you want, but it's very useful. Whoops. Now we've got a bit too much with colour there, so just take, don't be scared of taking it away, okay? Once the silicon set, you can actually be quite firm with it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to use a bit of um, our gorgeous Meron Paradise Pro Color Ring. I'm going to use the yellow. I'm going to get my toothbrush. And sort of do remember that technique I showed you last week? that's too much so we take some away okay so now we're going to stipple and work the reds in now this area of the skin inside is going to be where the skin's missing so we're going to go to our Ben 9 effects palette and we're doing Burnt Coral, that one. Reference REFX-3. And remember, we're doing washes of colour. A nice wash of colour. And then we shall go for, we now move to Meron. We go for Bloody Rose. So this is, I'm mixing alcohol and cream, but I'm always diluting it down all the time with alcohol. Can you see? So there's the inside dermis, epidermis, burnt. Making it really angry. Yeah? You see that? To make it really angry over there. Yeah. 
and we just take a little bit of color away as always I always you know take I put to take away I put take away put take away it's just my sort of it's one of my things I do just because I like it to really be realistic yeah so then we're now going to add a little bit of detail into the um I want to have some 3D detail. So you take, I'm taking a very small brush, 153. And going with my Burnt Maroon by Meron. Burnt Maroon, that one. Yeah, can you see? And I'm just adding, and now I'm adding a bit of 3D. I'm just building that picture. Now, can you see the detail of the skin? Hope you can see, yeah? Hope you like it. I love doing burns. Blisters, can you see the blistered face there? That blisters burst. And it's just about now creating coloration and kind of working with color and how you work with color to create what you're trying to create. Just start creating the idea of burnt, blistered face. See? Now, let me just see if Thea is still on the call. Thea is on the call. Um, Thea, if you're on the call, I'm going to take you, if you remember when we demoed um, at you, uh, United Makeup Artists Expo, Expo, I was actually there working for Meron and Treasure House, but one day I was invited to demo and Theo and I did uh, to demo with Theo and we did an all over body burn and we mixed mediums, we mixed latex with silicon. Now one thing, latex and silicon don't like to play well together. So you can only really do one to the other once the, the silicon is cured, otherwise it will break it down. But we did an oil all over body burn and we look, used lots of different techniques. And that's what you need to do as a makeup artist. You need to learn how to work with your techniques. You see that? There's my blister. Burst. So now what I'm adding is I'm adding detail to the blister. It was a fabulous demo that one. Now, this week I'll be working with a thing called Gel FX. Um, Meron does their own version. Ben Nye does their own version. So I'm going to use some two versions. Uh, so you can see that the same, well, it's not the same product, but you, can, you get very different results and very lovely results with both of them. Um, and I love both products. So that's one thing we're going to be doing today. Uh, no, sorry, not today. This week and probably next week. We're going to do a bit of um, acid burns. So this would be an acid burn. Or, um, yeah, I would say an acid burn. Because the skin, the skin's sort of, it's broken down, it's dragged down. That's normally acid does that. 
he breaks the bonds. Don't forget what happens around the burn. And I'm sorry I was late everyone, we had a few technical issues today, but we're here. And don't be worried about leaving bits of kind of brighter skin because that's what you get in a, in a, in a, you know, in a big blister. You do get, you get some of the skin which is blistered and that's the point. Oh, the lovely Stefania. Hello, lovely. Welcome. We're doing a second degree acid burn using sculpt gel and painting using Paradise, Treasure, um, Meron Paradise, and also Ben Nye effects. So it's now about just create that effect that you're trying to do. You keep building those layers, you can see that. Now, inside the burn, we still need to go a bit brighter. We need to go a bit pinkier, which is what I'm going to add now. And I'm going to use a very small brush for this because I don't want to overload the colour. And it's very important not to overload because then it doesn't look realistic. The point that you are, you're trying to achieve realism. If it doesn't look realistic, then you as an effects artist have not done your job properly, especially doing casualty. Now Stefania makes amazing, amazing body adornments, nails, eyebrows, adornments for the face. You should check out her work, it's fabulous. So this is what we're looking like. This is where we are, people. It's looking quite fabulous. It's looking, you know, it's looking, well, oh, it's looking where it needs to look, really. George Redwood, fabulous artist. Welcome, George. Nothing like a second degree burn to keep you occupied on a Wednesday afternoon. Now, I'm not going to use any blood today. No blood. Okay, no blood. You've got to get used to working with no blood. So then to make academy, hello. And think about how the body reacts to things. Okay, this is you're trying to create texture. Don't think this is applying. Yes, we're very excited about resuming Courses at Savannah Make Academy. Once restrictions happen, guys, the courses will be live, and you will see the Meron Treasure House kit in action, because that's what you we be working with. I've always been a big believer. If you want to achieve, um, 
if you want to achieve good results, you need to use good products. Same as when you cook. Now, if you're a beginner and you don't have a lot of money, which I totally understand, make sure you have a couple of things. The Meron Paradise Pro Coloring Effects is a great product. It's not particularly expensive. And just with that and a bit of alcohol, you can create some amazing effects. You can do this effect using um, shop-bought um, cooking gelatin. I don't know if you bought the Dr. Erkner cooking gelatin, the sachets, you put water into it, you can do the same. And in fact, I think next week we'll do it, just to show you. So I want you to think about a few products with good products. So I put a bit of the yellow first and then I started working with the red burnt coral and there we go. There's my blistered second degree burn. Oh my god there's the Arto, Arto Theatre. As, as you guys know, I am one of the voice teachers at Brunel and I also teach effects makeup at the Art Centre. Arto Theatre is a fanta fantastic space we have. Hello Arto, welcome, welcome, welcome. Second degree burn using Sculptural. Blistered acid burn, okay? Yes? Right. What did we use? We used Meron Pro Colouring effects. So that's that one. We used our Ben Nye effects palette. So this is Studio Color Essential Effects. These are grease paints by the way. These are grease paints. Then I did use a little bit of alcohol colors by the gorgeous Ben Nye Bruce palette by Ben Nye. Uh, one of my favorite colors, which I keep going back to, is my Burnt Coral by Meron. Grease again. I used my Neutral Set by Meron. And then my trusted Delian brushes created by our gorgeous friend, Thomas Suprenant. Suprenant, who won an Emmy for Star Trek Deep Space Nine and is a fabulous human being and we love him a lot. So there you go, second degree burn, ulcerated acid attack. Think you've been in a club, acid in your face, there you go.